How's it going everybody? I'm back on Fallout 4 today with another video that has to do with the cage, cages and arena battles. So I'm going to be looking at what you need to do to build the cages, how they work, and the best way to set them up in your settlements. So let's get started and see what we can do. Well, the farm's not much. Well, it's something. I'm doing my best there, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at what cages we can build here. Alright, we are going to start off by the Yagwai cage. We're going to put that right here in the corner. Let's jump down here and get a better view. Okay, so now we need to run some power to that cage uh, with a switch. And we got to set up the beta emitter. I think that's what it's called. Let's see. Otherwise, that, that Yagawa is going to come out and he's not going to be very happy. So we'll put that right here. And then we're going to hook this up with some power. So I'm going to do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, we now have the cage all set up with the beta wave emitter right next to it. And what we're going to do is we've got this cage, actually we've got this cage hooked up to a switch. I believe there's power going to the cage already. Yes, there is power going to the cage. Let's just make sure we've got our fighter lined up. Okay, we've got this guy in here ready to go. Let's just make sure he is set to that pad. Got it. All right, we got the door shut. So we are all set. Big thing you need to do is you want to make sure you have an opening in your arena, whatever you've got set up, to wherever your cage is. Basically, there's got to be a way for whatever you're trying to capture to get to the cage. All right, so now what we got to do is wait. So I'm going to build myself a bed and sleep for a couple hours. And we'll see what happens, and we'll see if we can catch one of these Yagwides. Okay, we're back, and we finally caught a Yagwai. So it took a few days. I was sleeping. At, um, I was sleeping for 24 hours at a time, and eventually, cage filled up, and you can hear him banging around in there. So he's not very happy. So I need to put that uh, beta it, beta wave emitter beta emitter what's it called beta wave emitter need to put that back in here um, I moved it while I was just trying to shift the cage around to get the best best positioning for it so let's get that back so that that bear doesn't go berserk when he comes out so that's all set. We've got our oh our poor settler over here. We've got him all ready. Got the doors all wired up, so let's close let's close off the arena so no one can just wander in. And let's get the fighting doors open. So now this will open up the door that the blue settler was standing by. And now we'll open up the cage and we'll see what we get. All right, here they go. Well, that did not take long. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to beef this guy's armor up a little bit. So let's try that battle again. Okay, so we got our next battle ready to go. I've upgraded our settler a little bit here. He's now got spike armor and he's also rocking a institute pistol with a, an auto, automatic institute pistol so let's see how much better he could do this time i also placed him in the cage that way we can get a better look at how this fight's gonna go all right and here we go let's see, see if he does any better this time oh man 
still no good. All right, that Yagua is very powerful. We're gonna try one more battle here today, and let's let's give this guy some help. Let's give him a couple more team members. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back and we're all set for the final fight today. So we've got three settlers now. For some reason. This one settler, she does not want to stand on her platform no matter how many times I tell her to go there. So with her back to the cage, good luck for her. That's all I can say. So we've got this guy right here with the spike armor and that same institute rifle. She is now using a shotgun. And over here we have this ghoul that's joined our settlement. She's wielding a pipe pistol, but she's also got five Molotov cocktails. So let's see if the three of them can take this Yagwai out. And here we go. Hmm? He vanished. Yeah. Doing all right so far. They're lasting a little longer. There goes the ghoul. Ooh, they took him down. So. There we go. After three fights and getting a couple more settlers to help out, they were able to finally take down the Yaguai. Huh? Okay, yes, he's dead. <laughs> They'll spasm. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were able to learn a little bit about how to build cages. Definitely come back and check out some more. I've got some more great ideas. Uh, much bigger battles I'm gonna try out and right now I'm just getting down the basics and figuring out you know how to make this stuff work so if you enjoyed the video leave a like I'd really appreciate it and if you wanna come back for more uh, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date and I'll see you guys in the next video